Hello everybody, today we're going to animate text using the week editor. Here I am in my new blank project. Let's adjust some project properties first. From here we can change settings, change the size of the artboard, frame rate and the background color. So we'll keep it 12 frames per second, we'll adjust background color over here. Don't forget to click apply. Now we need to zoom out a little bit to see the whole artboard. All right, let's pick a text tool from the toolbar at the top. Now you can just tap and type your text. I will keep this first text box as text. And I'm going to create a new layer for the second text box. So click the plus button in the layer panel below. And again, same tool. Here I will type animation. All right, so I got each text box on the separate layer. This would be much easier this way to animate. Now let's open properties and I need to tap directly on the text layer to see properties of the text. From here we can adjust the text color and also font, font size and similar properties related to text. Let's make it much larger by typing number from the keyboard, maybe 200 will do. All right. And now time for the second text box. Again, you must tap directly on this text layer, mark with letter A. This way you can edit the text itself. Change the color and font from this panel on the right side. Inspector tool will display your text properties after you tap the text layer. All right, so the second text will be a little bit different. Different font style. All right, we can close this now and back to normal move tool. It's time to align our text around the middle of this artboard. So we got this static image now and it's time to start with animation. So I will start with this text at the top first so I can hide the bottom layer for a while. You can hide an hide hide layer by clicking the eye icon next to the layer name. I just duplicate this text four times for frame one, two, three, and four. I will move it a little bit and now I will edit the text itself. So we will have this animation of text appearing letter by letter. So first frame number five, we got just letter T. Frame number two, we will have two letters then three letters and then four letters. So the text will not, will not just appear all at once, but letter by letter. To do that, I simply duplicate the text first. You must make a copy of the text and then edit each copy using text tool. All right, so that's quite a simple way of animating text. We'll extend the last frame so the text will last on the screen, will not disappear straight away. All right, let's play with this second text box. Move it around here. So the text at the top appear first and then the text at the bottom will appear, but in different manner. For the bottom text, I will use twinning. So I will need to convert this text to a keyframe. Before that, I think I'm going to adjust the color and the font. It's much better to do all adjustments before you start animating the text. It's quite hard later on 
to make changes so be sure you got your final color and font before you start animating the text so quick change here all right i think this will be a little bit better reposition oh i select the top text by mistake let's lock this layer and i can even hide it if i want all right in the middle right here as i mentioned for the second text box i'm going to use different technique this technique is called twinning or in betweening it's much easier the computer will help me out with animation i just need to add twin like that now extend this frame and i'm going to add keyframe to it take a look between the first keyframe and the second keyframe there's arrow this arrow indicates that the computer will be responsible for everything in between keyframes. So if I move this text down on the first keyframe, I can even modify the text. I can make it flat like this. Take a look what, ha what is happening. The computer, the software is, is responsible for the twinning in between, twinning in between <laughs> keyframes. So he will make the changes for you. So we've got smooth transition here. You don't need to be worried about that. Very, very handy technique while animating. Twinning, that's really can speed up your workflow. And I didn't do it like frame by frame. I just set up first frame and the last one and everything in between is done by computer. All right, so we got both top and bottom text box appearing. I'm going to copy the top text again and i will add twin to it as well i will add twin to it then extend the frame extend the frame we need second keyframe and this will be the final position of this object outside the outside the artboard so the text will like go out go out from the screen i can add rotation to it as well and the software will responsible for rotation as well. So you can reposition, change the size, add rotation, and take a look. This text is moving away with rotation. So it's really easy to animate text using this twinning technique. We will do something very, very similar with the text below. So I will need to add additional keyframe here, and maybe one more over here. And this one more, the, the last one will be the one outside the artboard. So similar thing. Move it outside, add some rotation to it. Here it is. All right. Let's maybe test it out. And play. All right. Text coming in and then moving out. As you can see, this twinning is really helpful technique while animating text. All right, not bad for just seven minutes. As you can see, it's really easy to animate text using this free open source editor. Let's move this a little bit further so the animation will be faster. All right, quite good result in my opinion. Try to animate your text using similar techniques. Remember, you can use Twin to speed up your process. Now we are ready to export. I already tap on the export button. Here we got two options, GIF and video MP4. I click video MP4. I got exporting in progress. I need to be patient here. almost there take a look it's done some people stay here waiting waiting and waiting it's done already you can already see that the file is in my downloads folder here and i can play it from there here's the final animation we made today if you found this video helpful don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel i got more week tutorials for you see you in the next one